All right, we have first alert to meteorologist Steve Stasa in the Weather Center, and we are taking a look at what's ahead for our new work week. Yeah, Moody Monday, that's what we're branding it here because uh, the personality of tomorrow is going to vary depending if you walk out the door early in the morning or later in the evening. A dramatic shift during the day tomorrow. So we want you to be ready for that. And then, of course, our trick or treat forecast, which I think is mainly all treat and little trick. All right, live look outside. There we go. As you can see, we have a mostly cloudy sky. We did make it up to 75. Degrees. We've kind of backed down a little bit now into the 60s. Average high is 64 degrees. What's average these days? We're never average. We're either way above or way below, and we're getting ready to go below average here starting, it looks like, on Tuesday. So tonight stays mild. Temperatures probably upper 50s, low 60s in your neighborhood. Maybe a spot shower or two in the forecast. Monday, don't be deceived by the morning hours. It's going to turn warm, mid to late morning temperatures up into the upper 70s. But then in the afternoon, the temperatures will begin to crash. The winds will kick up, and that leads us into a chilly trick or treating forecast, but also a dry trick or treating forecast here for the kids. We'll have that here in just a second. So a huge temperature drop coming our way. These are the afternoon highs, or in case tomorrow's uh, or tomorrow's high temperature are late in the morning, 78. Then we're in the low to mid 50s Tuesday and Wednesday, even Thursday, and then we'll start to shift back upward toward a normalish fall temperatures here mid to late week. There's the boundary, a lot of rain with it right now, but by the time the boundary gets into our part of the country, a lot of that rain will start to fall apart, maybe a spot shower or two, but this cold air is not missing us. It's 43 in Dallas, Texas right now, so that shows you how cold it is across the country. So tomorrow's temperatures quickly warm, mid to upper 70s by lunchtime, but look at 5 o'clock when you're coming home from work. That's in Baltimore City, 63, probably 50s in the suburbs. Here's the timeline, maybe a few showers overnight tonight. That boundary lifts to north. This is 10 a.m., temperatures in the 60s. Look, look what happens between 10 in the morning and 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperatures into the upper 70s here briefly before the cold front crosses, and then temperatures will plunge here tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. You're waking up to temperatures in the 40s here by Tuesday morning. An afternoon high of 54. We're calling it not too scary. Nothing dramatic here. That rain we've plucked from the forecast that stormed safely offshore. 52 on Wednesday with a blustery chill. Uh, welcoming in November in 54 with some widespread frost and freeze conditions here on Thursday morning. This is for Baltimore City. This is the frost outlook. It's about as high as it gets. So even in the city, if you have plants outside, bring them on inside. This is a look at places like Carroll County or any of the surrounding suburbs. A hard freeze is likely here. Uh, looks like as we move into Thursday night into Friday and also Wednesday night in, into Thursday. So there you go. You can see that's the end of the growing season. So if you have anything that you care about, bring it inside those next couple of mornings. As you can see, temperatures in the 50s, but we got to get that trick or treat forecast here because that's so important for the kids. We are looking at temperatures that will generally be into uh, the 40s here. So we're looking at that here on Tuesday night. Temperatures low to mid 50s Wednesday and Thursday, upper 60s on Saturday. And for the Ravens game next Sunday, Upper 60s looks perfect. By the way, that sunset will be 5.01 in the evening as we go back to Eastern Standard Time. We'll be right back.